Hey, Dr. David Powers here. Wanted to talk to you about something related to coaching. I mean, I do life coaching and I've got a ton of clients that benefit from that. But what most people don't realize is, you know, do the people at the top of their game, do they ever go for coaching? Do they ever need coaches? And yeah, heck yeah. Um, everybody at the top of their game has a coach. I mean, think about uh, the best golfers in the world. They have coaches for every different aspect of the game, uh, from a swing coach to everything else. Um, actors have coaches. As a matter of fact, uh, you can see the uh, my poster from Fight Club back there on my office wall. Um, actors have acting coaches for everything. I mean, anytime they get a new movie role, they hire a coach to teach them something, whether it's how to be a police officer, um, learning martial arts. Um, there are some rather impressive videos of uh, Keanu Reeves learning some of the gun techniques for John Wick. I mean, they all hire coaches for these things. And so what I wanted to mention to you is that I, I listen to the Tim Ferriss podcast all the time. And Tim is one of my most favorite authors. And I just enjoy reading him, listen to him. Everything he puts out, I have drunk the Tim Ferriss Kool-Aid. And so he recently put out a podcast by one of my other favorite authors, uh, Greg McEwen, the author of Essentialism. And uh, matter of fact, on that screen right there behind me, uh, you can see the cover to Essentialism. It's got the squiggly lines on it. So look for that if you go to the bookstore or order it from Amazon like most of us do. Um, but he interviewed Greg McEwen for his podcast, Tim did. And it was an amazing podcast because it was unlike any other Tim Ferriss podcast I'd ever listened to before. And as a matter of fact, on the other screen behind me, I've got it pulled up right there, um, episode number 355 of the Tim Ferriss podcast. Um, just do a Google search for Tim Ferriss Essentialism and it'll pull up the podcast. But the neat thing about this one is that you get an inside glimpse into somebody at the top of their game basically getting coached. Um, because most of Tim's podcasts are interviews. Uh, it's an interview format, and he interviews some amazing people. But this one was different. This one felt like the entire time Greg McEwen was coaching Tim Ferriss. It is pretty amazing because here's Tim at the top of his game, but he's sitting there going throughout the entire podcast as if he's the student, and he was on this. Um, I'm pretty sure that Greg gave Tim some tips that uh, you'll see a new product from Tim probably coming out in the next five to ten years that is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, and it may be Tim Ferriss's Opus Project uh, on depression and uh, mental health and things like that. Uh, if you want to know more, just listen to the podcast. He talks about tons of specifics about what he's wanting to accomplish with it. But what I want you to realize the most is if you listen to this, you'll get some benefit from all aspects of it. But what I want you to benefit from the most is realizing that people at the top of their game need coaches, and so do you. I mean, so do I. I hire coaches when I need to know things that are outside my skill level, um, and it's not you know just something I can Google and learn on my own. I have to go to a coach, whether it's uh, another martial arts. I, I'm getting ready to start Aikido classes. It's a martial art that I have never done, and so you know, I'm not going to learn that from watching YouTube videos. I'm not going to learn that from watching uh, Steven Seagal movies. I'm going to go to a master and learn from him. And so that's what people do when they hire coaches. If the life coach moniker, um, or just the idea of coaching, life coaching, all those kind of things uh, throw you off, think about it this way. You're going to a master that knows what they're doing. They're already doing the skill and they can teach it to you. So I hope you enjoy them. And by all means, I'll put the links in the show notes, but uh, go to that podcast and listen to it and digest it. All right, thanks for tuning in. Dr. Dave here. You can always catch me at Call Sign Redbeard. Thanks. Yeah.